So the spring peepers are going. I think you can hear them. Uh, I didn't get a lot done this week. It was mostly due to rain and my own laziness. In fact, it's starting to sprinkle again now. But, you know, it is the way it is. Oh, there goes a raccoon. Mm, bye, raccoon. Is it tripod? Let's see. Yep, that is tripod. She's been showing up earlier because she seems to be nursing babies, which is very exciting. But yeah, it is Sunday again, and I went to town this week, and along with getting books, which I don't have them physically yet. I ordered them. Hello, Goose. Want some corn? There you go. Um, along with ordering some books, which made me very excited and very happy, I got some mail. So we're going to do a mail call here in a little bit. But, you know, first I figured we'd wander around. Oh, check out this Goose. I don't know if we can see it. This goose has eyebrows. I don't know if that's something that I just never noticed on a Canada goose, but the goose has eyebrows, like white patches. And I feel like the other geese that are around don't have white patches above their eyes. Could just be a me thing. I could be dumb. I've been dumb before. But yeah, the sky... It's supposed to be clear tomorrow, which is actually pretty awesome. But yeah, it's sprinkling, or it was. When I was walking down the hill, I saw sprinkles. It's so pretty here. And the, the peepers just make me stupidly happy. I did get one other thing done this week that I'm kind of happy about, and I will show you when we get back up the hill. It's still too, oh, that's my finger. It's still too cold to actually directly plant anything into the planters, except maybe potatoes, which I haven't done yet, because again, laziness. But I started Brussels sprout seeds and they sprouted. So my Brussels sprouts sprouted, which is a tongue twister and kind of hilarious. And yeah, I will show you my cute little sprouts. Give me a second. So I found this little, I don't know, kind of greenhousey thing. And I said, you know what? It's in really sad shape, but we'll see if it'll work. And look, little teeny tiny Brussels sprouts. I think I've got sprouts in every container. No, that middle one doesn't look like it has them. Almost every container. So that's cool. Other than that, not too much other new stuff outside. We've got the daffodils that Always remind me of sunny side up eggs. No tulips yet. The very first daffodils that were blooming have faded. And the daffodils that are out here in the kind of woodsy area are blooming now. So that's kind of cool. Haven't really checked out. I guess we can do it together the um, apple trees to see if they made it through the winter okay. They usually do. I need to get some more fruit trees. I feel like that would be a good thing to have. Because I've got the plums and I've got the apples. But that's it. Oh yeah. I see buds. That's kind of exciting. 
I'm so easily amused. And little, little cute daffodils. I'm pretty sure my mom planted those. So, they definitely spread slow. Because she probably planted them 20 years ago. That's a good patch of them over there, though. <sighs> We've been seeing lots of, lots of fun wildlife. I'm a little bit mad. And it's my own fault for not putting the video camera in an easily accessible location. Because every now and then, when my son gets up, he sees something really, really cool outside, be it, you know, a mammal or bird. And he said he went out to feed the ducks a couple of days ago, and there were two pileated woodpeckers. And he said they stuck around for a long time. He went and looked for the camera for a while and couldn't find it. But he said they were... I guess preening each other, doing a little bit of mating rituals or something. And I'm kind of mad because the camera was somewhere where he couldn't get it easily, which meant we didn't get that recorded. <laughs> the woodpecker is so mad that I interrupted his meal. My dude. It's okay. Also, you should... There we go. It's so hard to zoom in. The zoom feature on a camera is nowhere near as good as your own eyes. Which is kind of sad. Anyway. Well, let's go inside. Let's bother the cat if he's someplace botherable. And then we'll open this, this mail. I think I know what it is because I got an email from the person. And I am excited to open it. So give me a minute and we will reconvene. Parky. Uh, Parky, that, that was an extreme close-up. Like that, that was a little bit ridiculous. He has been extra lovey slash cuddly. And I don't really blame him. I mean, he and he and Jezebel weren't like bestie besties, but I feel like he misses her. Also, my house is a wreck. My house is always a wreck. Anyway, he gets plenty of cuddles, but he has been extra, extra, extra snuggly at night. He likes to get up right next to my head and reach his paw out and he'll he'll put his paw on my hand. It's very cute. And it makes me feel very special. And, you know, I'm not getting any more cats, at least not for not for a while. We've got Parky. We have my son's cat Zia who still doesn't come downstairs. She does not like Parky, which I feel so bad because Zia was always a cat's cat. Like, she always had a best friend cat. And when Higgy died, Zia went upstairs. She decided Parky was not it. She did not like him at all. And, yeah, she... She essentially just lives upstairs now. She's got a couple of litter boxes. She has water, she's got food, she's got toys up there, and she's got my son. Of course, my son mostly is down here when he's awake, but, you know, she has, she does have a human to sleep on, and she could come downstairs anytime she wants. She just doesn't want to. Maybe one day. Anyway, we are going to open this up. I am so excited. So, I got this big old thing here. It says, do not bend. And I'm just going to use first names. So this is from Sarah. And I am very excited. 
Although, I need to go back and look at the email because, oh my goodness, okay, this is what I thought it was, and this is one I did not have, so I am very excited. This is the Dragon Lover's Guide to Pern. Oh my gosh, I, I am thrilled and excited and, oh. It's beautiful. This is one of those that I always kind of wanted because it's got, like, everything in it. Like, we've got the shuttles. Now, we've got me hitting my own nose. We've got the different animals on Pern and their adaptations. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, that is so pretty. A depiction of a mating flight. I think this might even have the um, the rest, the actual recipe for claw, if I'm not mistaken. I know I looked at this a couple different times back when Anne McCaffrey was still able to be found in bookstores. And I feel like this might be the one that had at least a, a basic how to make claw and maybe a, another recipe. Or I might just be hallucinating. I am going to have so much fun looking through this. This is so pretty. All the different, like, like seals or shields, like, that would be on the flags. Oh, this is very cool. This has got some holds that I don't even remember, which is even better. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it is. We do have some... We have a recipe for bubbly pies, which uh, this one is blueberries. Ah, just blueberries. Okay. I thought it might be blueberries and blackberries. And then we've got uh, tarts and a crust for gather pies. Oh, that is so cool. All right, yeah, I'm going to have so much fun looking through this. This is, this is so awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah. This, this is going to get a pride of place, and I am going to enjoy this for a long time to come, so thank you. Also, thanks to all of you for watching. I mean, without you guys, I would just be talking to myself, so I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. It was a little laid back, just a little what I'm doing and what I've been doing and blah, blah, all of that. But it's the Sunday check-in, so how are you guys all doing? How is your weather? It has it been as rainy as ours has? I think uh, the next several days here are supposed to be at least not raining. And I think they're all supposed to be warm, too. So hopefully I can get out, get a couple of good walks in, and maybe get some more gardening done. I feel like I made a good start, and then, then the weather derailed me, and I would like to get back out there and get some more gardening done. So anyway, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.